Hi everyone, I am Ahmad Gad from PTEC. In this video, I will explain some expressions related to cardiovascular system and cardiovascular disorders, some disorders like uh, especially heart failure, uh, like uh, angina and so on. Uh, let us start with some uh, important expressions like cardiac output, vascular resistance, peripheral resistance, afterload, preload, and enotropic and chronotropic effects. What is the meaning of each one? Uh, we can explain these expressions by imagining. Let us imagine the heart is as a balloon filled with air. If we have a balloon filled with air, this balloon like the heart. If we have the uh, tip of the balloon or the opening of the balloon with narrow opening or narrow tip and we close this tip, this balloon filled with air. To empty this balloon, we make a pressure outside, pressure coming outside, outside the balloon to try to empty or to uh, push the air in the balloon out of this. But this will face a resistance due to the opening of the balloon is narrow. This uh, what we called resistance to emptying. Okay, like heart, the heart filling with a blood and try to pump this blood all over the body to, uh, through aorta, through the artery, which we called it aorta, and other arteries. Aorta branched to other arteries. If those arteries are uh, vasoconstricted, if they are vasoconstricted, so they will be narrower, so that there is a resistance against the pump of the blood from the heart. This is what we call vascular resistance. So vascular resistance here means that the arteries are vasoconstricted, make a, a pressure against the heart, against the pulling of the blood from the heart, so that make increasing in vascular resistance. <coughs> okay. On the other side, when the heart receive the blood from all over the body through the vena cava, through veins, okay, also like the balloon, the same balloon, when we fill the balloon with air, if the open of the balloon is wide, is uh, uh, wide or have wide opening, is it easier to fill this balloon or uh, harder? No. It is not easier because it needs a, a, a power to fill the balloon with wide opening. But if we narrow the opening or, or make it very uh, narrow, it will be easier to fill the balloon faster. Okay, Like the heart, <coughs> like the veins supporting the heart or connected to the heart, if those veins are uh, vasodilated, so the blood coming to the heart will be less. Okay, so there is a little blood fill the heart. This what we called preload. This what we called preload. Okay, and the resistance here will be called peripheral resistance. Peripheral resistance here will decrease due to vasodilatation. Okay, so blood coming to the heart will be less. Then, if the Vascular resistance is high due to vasoconstriction of arteries. So the heart needs more power to push or to pump the blood. Okay, so the cardiac output here will decrease. So need another uh, power to pull uh, to pump all the blood from the heart. This is what we call the force of contraction. If we need the heart to pump more blood, so we need to increase the force of contraction and that what we call inotropic effect. Okay, so positive inotropic effect means increasing force of contraction. Negative inotropic effect means decrease force of contraction. So also, uh, 
if the peripheral resistance will decrease. That means, as we told, that the blood coming to the heart will be less. Okay, so here we decrease the load of the heart. We decrease the blood coming to the heart. So make the blood, they make the heart more relaxed. So that heart, when need to increase the blood pumped, it will try to increase its heart rate, to increase the blood pumped or to increase the amount of blood pumped. The increase of heart rate here means chronotropic effect. The effect of uh, vasodilators. We have uh, several vasodilators, some of them acting on arteries and some of them acting on veins and some of them acting on both, you know, on arteries and on veins. So if the vasodilator acting on arteries, I make a, a vasodilatation for the artery. So the effect here will first decrease the vascular resistance and decrease the afterload which is good for some patient having heart failure okay also when we use a vasodilator acting on veins this will make a vasodilatation of veins so it will decrease the peripheral resistance and decrease the blood coming to the heart so that it will decrease the preload thank you and i hope it is clear now and you understand the mechanism of preload and afterload and resistance. Thank you.